Craig, you, you already know what's coming and you haven't, I haven't even said anything yet. All right, Real Estate 101, sponsored by the coastal team of Keller Williams Pacific Estates. Give them a call, 562-888-0404 and experience real estate. Our topic is there is hope for HARP 3. Mm. Harp. Mm. So for those of you who didn't know, there was actually a HARP 1. Actually, it was HARP, no it was one. Harp. Was that and then there was a thing? HARP 2, yeah, which sequel. we're currently in. The sequel, which is never as good as the original, is it? Except Actually, it was Aliens. much better. Aliens, Terminator 2, yeah. come on. No, 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 no. Usually, yeah. I mean, nine times out of ten, the sequel sucks. And Except now, for Harp 2. <laughs> Harp 3. Oh, by the way, Harp stands for? Uh, home Affordable Refinance Program. And refinancing is big right now or not so big? Not as big. Um, well, Harp is still big. Anything okay. else is probably not as big. So what? Uh, the Home Affordable Refinance Program was a government initiative i i guess um aimed at uh, allowing people to refinance if they're upside down so take advantage of today's lower rates even though uh, they're upside down now some government programs allow you to do that like fha and oh, va already allow you to streamline a, a loan regardless of the ltv um, but this was the this ex- expanded. Yes, loan to value. <laughs> this is like SMMOC, uh, Scott. It's an so, acronym free zone. Right. So if you're under if you're underwater, and that's really the that's the gist of this is you have to have over eighty percent loan to value. Uh, but HARP two was only if your loan was owned by Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac, and it was hugely successful. A lot of people refinanced. A lot of people didn't. Either that's just a lack of education, or they don't understand that they can. But what happened is uh, HARP 3 started. We, we've talked about HARP 3 quite a bit. And essentially, HARP We've kind 3, of harped on it, haven't we? We have harped on it. And, uh, and essentially, there's a couple of yeah, different. Yeah, thank you. Thank that you was good. Much. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> so there was a couple different efforts. There's a couple different efforts to expand these guidelines even further to allow even more people to refinance, even though they're upside down. And uh, they've been talking about it for almost two years, and it sort of went by the wayside. The last I had heard, just even a couple months ago, um, that there was a really, really slim chance, if any, like less than 3% chance of it ever going through. Uh, But earlier this month, President Obama uh, is pushing it really, really hard. The president is pushing it. He had a speech in Arizona. Uh, He had like a QA and a on Zillow. And uh, people sent in questions, and almost 40% of those questions were about HARP 3. No way. And, and he basically said that it's a— 40%? That he basically said that HARP 3 is a no-brainer, and that it should be, and it should get pushed through. So what they're essentially talking about doing— So the initial HARP 2, you, you can only refinance if you got your loan before May 31st, 2009. So they're talking about lifting that. Whether they just push that one. forward. So anybody, yeah. Whether that's they great. just push that forward uh, or whether they eliminate it completely, that's going to be a huge one. Um, the really big one, though, is that they're going to open it up uh, to anybody with any loan, not just Fannie that's Mae and Freddie Mac. Oh, and nice. Yet. And it's most likely going to be a, an FHA loan. So, I mean, there's a huge – this is this is one of those situations where – you know, the government's going to make a ton of money by doing this because they just made mortgage insurance permanent on FHA and they increased all of their mortgage insurance premiums. So if they let all these people that are upside down refinance into FHA mortgages, um, the government's going to make a lot of money and they're going to help a ton of people. So, so it's, whoa, it's an actual win win. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's no, the first time I've ever heard Yeah, that. no, it, it looks like a really positive move and, and, um, Absolutely. No, it's something to be excited about. I, I, I would say I would say we'll see something in ninety days. I mean, either a yay or a nay, but it's not. I don't think it's going to just be out there still floating. There you go. Because he really, really pushed it. Stay tuned to keeping it real estate for when, more on Harp Three. Yeah. But we got a the big thing is just the investor overlays and see. The what? The what? Investor overlays. If there's the investor thing. overlays. What's an investor? Overlay? Well, they yeah, but the 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 market did a pretty good. Two had a pretty good. But the market did a pretty good job of 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 adopting to Harp Two, and 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 um, 
So I, I don't know. So it's going to. I tried pushing through. It was like. Rah. Well, it's going to FHA though. So if yeah. the loans are going to FHA, you're probably going to have less lender specific overlays Hopefully. if FHA agrees to take all of those loans. So yeah, we'll we'll keep an eye on it. But I mean, Harp Two was a huge improvement over Harp. And Harp Three looks to really just kind of open up the floodgates and nice. kind of help that last little. I think group the big one people. on Harp Two was the LTV. Yeah. yeah. The good LTV news. and the, the debt to income yeah. ratios. And, good and news I, for everyone involved. And I hear they're working on Harp Four. And oh, they I, are now. Iron Man's going to appear in that. Would one, you stop? Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. is going to play Harp. <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, in that Harp Man. Man. Harp Three. You heard it here, ladies and gentlemen. Keeping it real estate. Find out more at findmywayhome.com.